The Morden was a fourth-rate 48-gun ship built at Deptford in 1681 and this miniature model of her is what is commonly termed a navy board model. As I already stated in my article on the Royal George, the original navy board model, admiralty or dockyard models as they were known, were built approximately between the years 1650 and 1750. They were generally characterised by having exposed and somewhat stylized framing below the waterline and sections of planking are usually omitted from the decks to reveal the deck beams. They were mostly built to a scale of 4 feet to 1 inch. My model here is 9 inches long, built to the miniature scale of 16 feet to 1 inch. This is another model that would never have been built were it not for the help and support of Richard Enter, who once again provided the plans, which will incidentally be included in his soon to be published book, which will be about how the master shipwrights designed their fourth rate ships in the time of Charles II. I also have to thank Simon Stevens, the curator of models at the National Maritime Museum, who on two separate occasions arranged for Richard and then myself to have access to the original Navy board model of the Mordant in order for Richard to take off the lines and for myself to examine and photograph it. This is the sort of help and cooperation that every model maker dreams of. The model itself was constructed using my usual method for a navy board model with the framing separate from the upper section. This was carved from a block of solid gelatin, subsequently hollowed out. For anyone seeking more information on the construction methods used I would refer them to my book Building a Miniature Navy Board Model. However with this model I tried something slightly different as I wanted to show the exposed frames between the two timbers of the upper whale, a common feature on navy board models of this period. To achieve this, I inserted short lengths of boxwood into the sides of the upper section, so avoiding having to continue the frames all the way up to the top sides. The great advantage of the divided hull is that it makes work easier on the interior of the hull and the decks, not only easier but a lot more pleasant. One of the main aims for this model was to demonstrate the anatomical construction of the ship and to create the aged patina of the original. You will notice that I have omitted to fit all the ledges on the starboard side of the upper deck and the gratings over the main hatch. This allows good views of the lower deck and even down into the hold. All the framing and planking was cut to size from Brazilian boxwood and the decorative work formed from carved boxwood, wire and artist's gesso. I built the case and the plinth for the model from Gelutong. The centre of the plinth is veneered with some rather rare white walnut burr. The remainder of the plinth, the case and the glass cover were veneered with oak burr. <laughs> 